Hello, today I want to show you some transitions that I use in my game and uh, I want to show you how you can make these transitions easily and uh, create something that is very unexpected and, and fun to the player. Uh, so in this game here I have my cat standing here and uh, here is a rocket and I can talk to the rocket and the rocket, I tell the rocket that we, I want to go and help Squirrel find an acorn and the rocket says sure cat jump in and then I'm inside the rocket and off we go. Now uh, you would assume like okay we are going to space or something with this rocket and sure enough we go up and it's still in the same level now just much higher up. And now we see that the background fades to green and then the camera zooms out and we are somewhere completely different and uh, we're in some kind of room somewhere or something. Now, what actually happened here is that I can play the sequence again and explain and then we look at the code. You see that it fades from the blue background color to green. That just changes the sort of sky color. Then when it's changed to the uh, color we want, which is the same as the globe in the other room, it actually completely changes level, but starts that level in a very zoomed in state and then it zooms out and shows the rocket. Um, and you know instead of trying to do something very smart where oh my game is actually played on this planet which is maybe if you want to make a game like No Man's Sky or something you know that's maybe what you would do. Uh, but uh, in this case uh, I want something dramatic that is easy to make that is unexpected to the player. Um, by the way, all the art in this level is uh, temporary. <laughs> uh, but let's look a bit at the code for this to see what it, uh, how it works. So here is my code for when the rocket is sort of flying upwards. And if it has been in this state where it's flying upwards for more than 4.5 seconds, then it will start to fade and it says here which colors it's, it wants to fade to and these are the colors that are the same as the uh, I picked those from the globe inside the uh, um, inside the room we actually end up in in the end so it's it's this color here is is this one this remap function is essentially like a lerp that says between the 4.5 second and the 8 second uh, remap those values to a value between 1 and 0 so that we can use them to lerp a color down here. Uh, and this re remap function is simply, it, it's, it's sort of like a uh, lerp but it actually brings, you know, an old uh, min and max into a new min and max, something like this. Anyways, so that's the thing that fades it to the color of this just before it actually changes level. And then it says if time in state is more than 10. So it, it fades until we're at eight second. If time in this flying up state is more than 10, then we load level level uh, with the, the, the house level, which is this one. Um, and this house level uh, will start that level in some specific state. And we can look at that post load level. I think it's in here. Um, yeah, so this one will, when you s come into the house level, it will start the camera very zoomed in. And uh, it, uh, you don't need to care at this point about the background color, because what the color you're seeing is actually the color here. On top of that, you must make sure that your, the thing that the camera is focused on is actually there. So uh, in this level, I, I have... Uh, uh, I have a spline, this is my spline here, uh, and this spline starts here. And this is, uh, the, the, the rocket is set up to follow this spline. So uh, on the, yeah, so it starts at this point and then it goes like this 
and then you saw the rocket also did some movement where it sort of uh, uh, rotated and scaled a bit. I'm sorry about the colors here. I have changed the palette, but not fixed the editor colors. So uh, yeah, so it ro the, on this on this blind also rotates it a bit and stuff. And then you saw also I can restart this level. Oh, now it's restarted for us. Uh, so you see it zooms out and the, the rocket comes up here, and it, there's also some scaling going on. So it feels like it comes out of there. And that scaling is uh, done in code, and we can look at that part now. So we have leaving planet, it's called, this state. So when you're in this state, it uh, evaluates a Bezier curve, which is the, well, it evaluates a spline, which is a series of Bezier curves. By the way, I have a video on splines on my channel, uh, how I, the editor and all that stuff works. What this code does is it 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 scales the rocket uh, between the fourth and the tenth second of it being in this state of leaving planet, which is the state that the rocket starts in on this house level. It will set the scale to a value between 0 0.01 and 1 on the scale, and then it sets the rocket scale to that. Uh, and then uh, we also have a zoom that happens, and that happens between, let's see here, that's, uh, you know, the initial zoom out that happens. That happens between the, the first and the fourth second. And it does a lerp of the camera zoom from that kind of uh, super zoomed in, which is this one, to the less super zoomed in, which is this one. And it uses this value. And this is sort of a non-linear transformation. By the way, if you do this kind of, I, I'll show you quickly. Here it does like a sh the way it zooms out, it's not a linear speed. And you can Google like, let me Google it for you, like 1D funky transformations. Ah, oh, there, there was, there it is. Here is someone who made a nice website and you can click these different things. And I think the one I use here is, uh, uh, which one is it? This one, smooth stop free. So it goes fast initially and then does like this. So it's called an easing uh, thingy this, or, and uh, you have the math over here that you can use in your game and there, there's also some funny combinations here. This is really nice for making you know, these kind of non-linear things happen. So anyways, uh, so it has, it has zoomed out, it has scaled the rocket, and then at some point it will, uh, then it uses the spline mostly uh, to, to move the rocket and when, and then it notices that when the when the spline is done which is this stuff then it says okay rocket spline done which is a function that is here and this one spawns the cat outside the rocket we can run it again just to see here it follows it it did a zoom out with that nice uh, easing and it uh, the scaling is also done in script but the rotation and the speed comes from the spline and it comes down and then just when it hits the last, last point of the spline, the cat spawns next to the rocket and uh, it does some other changes to the rocket. Uh, so that's sort of the whole chain of events. And by the way, you know, in this initial level, you see when we, when we get into the rocket uh, and fly away initially, there is a, I, I, I initially let the camera stay and then a little bit after the rocket has flown away, it cuts back to the rocket and that's just a timer also. So it kind of just lets the camera stay for a bit and then when enough time has passed, it cuts back and then it does the rotation of the rocket plus changing the background color, then it changes level, then uh, it zooms out in the new level and uh, scales the rocket up, follows the spline, comes down and finally it, when the spline is at the end, it runs this function called rocket spline done and then we're done in 2d games where like in these kind of 2d games that have big these big chunky colors and stuff this is something fun that you can experiment to bring the player from one location to another that seems like it's a smooth transition but it's actually what the film industry would call smoke and mirrors that's all I had for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to uh, follow the development of my game. I have a Twitter account where I post stuff and I also post videos on this channel every week. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Bye.